Abby. Put the light a bit lower. Mm. Hello. Yes, I was waiting for that now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So, I'm trying to share my live stream. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to share my live stream. I just shared my live stream. It's a short live stream, actually. And very random, very random. And I'll be following the charts on this one. Let us see. So I'll be following the charts on this one to see what up, what up, what up. So yeah, <laughs> it's a Sunday afternoon, and oh, I'm getting my chopping board. Getting my chopping board. Why? Because I'm going to make some guava juice. guava juice. I've never made guava juice. You know, today I went to my shamba. In Kenya, we call it a shamba. Call them shambas. So I went to my shamba. I found so many, so many, so many, so many, so many guavas. I found so many guavas. This is the seed that I will be using. Meanwhile, if you come in, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up. Let us see. Yeah, and in case you watch this video later, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. So I'm going to make guava juice. Guava juice. I have some guavas right here. Um, I'm going to try and I should have done this. Before before starting the live stream, but anyway, I can still do it. It's not late. I'm going to get my sugar and then I'll move you guys close. If I move it, I'm a, I, I, it may it may go away. So no, I'm not going to move it. So um, the babies are sleeping, so I want to make for them some juice so that when they wake up, they can drink some juice. So yeah. I have plenty of guava. Ooh, the things are falling. See, 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 all these are guavas. I was like, what do you do with guavas? Hi, Ike. <laughs> Hi, Ike. What up? What up? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, Woods. How are you doing? Welcome to my live stream. Please give me a thumbs up. So it's a Sunday afternoon. And I have so many guavas from my shamba. I went to my shamba and there were so many guavas. Look at all this. And they are ripe. So I was wondering, what do you do with guava? Like, it's, it's not common for people to, to, to make juice from guavas, I think. It's not common, yeah? So what I did, of course, I went to YT. And I searched how to make guava juice at home. And I saw a video of somebody making guava juice. And I said, why not? Why not? So this is my, my working space. I'm going to tilt my phone just a little so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. There. There. You can see what I am doing. So these are my guavas. I'm going to start by cutting them in pieces. And... Meanwhile, they are organic guava. They are organic guava. So I've not, I didn't spray them. I didn't spray them. So I have to cut them open to see that they don't have any insects. You know how it goes. Like The guavas are wild. When I bought the piece of land, the guavas were already on the piece of land. So when I was um, cutting down the trees, I didn't cut Guavas. Okay, there were so many trees, so I cut down a few and then left others. 
Woody saying, I have drunk guava juice from the store, but never fresh. I can't wait to see you make it. Yes, me too. I've never drunk guava juice like guava juice. I always just drink it from the store. So I wanted to know these guavas. If you have a farm of guavas, what do you do with them? Like me, I found trees on the property when I bought it. So, and I love guavas from my childhood. So I said, why not? My favorite fruit is mangoes, then followed by guava. And I always buy in the store this guava juice. I've always wondered, why can't we make guava juice at home? So I'm cutting them one by one to make sure that they are still fresh. This one is too ripe. This one is too, too ripe. I don't know. You see, it's it's just going apart. I don't think this one is good. Mm, but it, mm. <laughs> it's so juicy. <laughs> it is so juicy. So what I'm going to be doing, I will not take off the, the, the no, but on second thought, I will not put that one. It is too, too ripe. So yeah, I'm, I'm cutting. Let me show you. I have the pink guavas and the white guavas. This is the pink guava. Let me show you. Let me show you. I should have actually taken a photo before. This is the pink guava. And then I have the white guava. Let me show you the white guava. Their textures are even different. Mm, the skin of the white guava is different from that of the pink guava. See? See this? Pink and white. So I'm going to mix them. I'm going to make juice from, from this. <laughs> oh my God. I should have taken a photo of these guavas when they are open. Oh, most of them are pink. The white tree, the, the black. Oh, sorry. I'll wash that again. The, the tree for the white guava was a bit far, so... Okay, not really far. I think I was just lazy, I guess. I was just lazy. So I just picked a few. So these guavas, I didn't spray the trees. So some of them have been infested with insects. They've eaten them up. Pretty. I didn't know they had different ones. Really? You didn't know? You didn't know woods? Yeah, there's the white guava and the pink guava. They are very different, even in test. The white guava tastes better than the... It tastes sweeter than the pink one. But the pink one has a very nice scent. With that best of Ajabu TV. Hello, Ajabu. How are you doing? We are making guava juice. We are making guava juice. I've never made guava juice. Ever, ever, like ever. <laughs> and best of Ajabu is telling people out there, how are you doing? So yeah, these guavas, I picked them fresh from the tree today, this afternoon. But most of them, why am I not finding the white ones? I'm trying to locate the white ones, but I can't find them. I can't find them. I'm trying to open them first so that I find out if there's any that is not good. Then I put it aside. I think I know where the white guava is. Let me just check. There's another bag that has white guava. Oh, where have you taken my message? <laughs> where have you taken the chat? Ajabu, where have you taken it? I'm trying to get the white guava. But most of these are pink. I went to one tree. Okay, I went to the other tree, but pretty much late. And I think the babies chose all the white guavas. Ajabu TV, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up. Oh, yes, I think I'm checking in this bag. <laughs> I'm checking in this bag. There's more guava here. But no, all this is pink. I'm trying to look for guava with a different texture. All this is pink guava. So, yeah, these are going somewhere. So <laughs> these are going somewhere. So, yeah, I'm not going to be cutting all. So, yeah, some of them don't have. Some of them have, have insects. So I'm checking them first to find out if they are fine before I chop them in pieces. And then I want to take a photo. The white guava is only one. I think the babies ate all the white guava because I don't seem to find any. Let me see who is there. I just drank guava, guava soda 
I did not like it, but Coca-Cola stopped to produce it. Guava soda. <laughs> Strange. Guava soda. Wow. I've never seen guava soda. <laughs> I've only seen um, the guava juice in the boxes. So I thought to myself, what do I do with all these guavas? If the juice is nice, I'm going to go back to the shamba tomorrow and bring more guavas because the trees are shaking with guava. Like they're even bending over because of the guava. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Best of Ajabu. <laughs> Woods is saying hello, Ajabu. How are you doing? How are you doing? So, yeah, the guavas I have are mostly pink. Tomorrow, I'll go pick the white ones. Rather, I'll call somebody to pick for me the white ones. I'm going to call somebody to pick for me the white ones. If this juice is nice. I hope it is nice because I saw it and I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. This looks nice. So yeah, I'm cutting them in pieces because the video I watched said cut them in small pieces so that you don't overwork your blender. You know, it, they've got so many seeds inside. But the guava is very nice for, what is it called? For, for your tummy. Yeah, it's, it's good for digestion. Despite it, oh, these have doodles, so I'll not be using them. Despite the fact that it is, um, it is, it has those seeds, it's very good for your tummy, I am told. So, yeah, I'll show you the guava once again, the difference between the pink and the white. Pink, white, pink, white, pink, white. See, 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 see. So, tomorrow I'll go pick more of the white guava. Okay. <laughs> so yeah the white one really tastes very nice i remember as a child we used to look for these white guava so i'm going to cut these in pieces small pieces so that i make the juice because i know we can't eat all these guavas even yesterday i had so many popos so since we can't eat all the popo i decided to make some juice out of it and voila the popo was done can you imagine can you imagine so, yeah, they say you only just cut them in pieces. These are really ripe. Who was going to eat all this? But, you know, the moment you blend it into juice, it's easier to work with. Like, you just wake up and then have the juice, you know? I can't wait. The babies, oh. You know why I have to cut them in smaller pieces? Because they are sort of wild guava. So, I never sprayed them. But if it is nice... I'll be spraying the trees so that I get better, better fruit. So I'm cutting in tiny pieces. So they, ooh, another one. They say you just blend, add, add a little bit of water and then some sugar because the sugar in the guava is not enough on its own. It will taste very strange if you don't add sugar. They say, yummy, yummy, I'm a pair. Yes. Agnes, yes, I was waiting for somebody to come say it in my language. I'm a pera. Indeed, gun my pera and gay hide. Gay hide hamti today. Today, today, I was in my shamba and I got them. I actually shot a video harvesting the guava, but I haven't quite posted it. So I'm just cutting them into pieces at the moment. I'm really concentrating. I'm supposed to be saying hello, you guys. <laughs> yes. So I'm following you from this other phone over here. So as I said, if I keep looking at the screen, I'm not wearing my glasses. So my eyes might not like the light since I put up the, the, what? The ring light. My pera. No, you know, uh, best of a jabu. Let me tell you, Capable Agnes and Best of Ajabu. Best of Ajabu, I think, is from Kenya. And uh, Capable Agnes is a Ugandan. So in Kenya, it is called Mapera. And in Uganda, it is called Amapera. You understand? It's like the Maembe. Maembe in Kenya, and then in Uganda, it is Emiembe. You know? So it just has those little, little 
differences in the language. Yeah, but it's it's the same thing. It is mapera, amapera, you know, <laughs> mapera, amapera. In Kenya, it is mapera. In Uganda, it is amapera, you know. We just make the words longer. It's like maembe and emiembe, you know. Emiembe, <laughs> maembe, you know. It's just something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> you get it, Ajabu. Yes, you get it. You get it. So, yeah, same word, but in Uganda, it's a bit longer. It's a bit longer. I don't know. I don't, I think in Swahili, you don't have a, 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 a word for, for popos, like papaya. You call it papai. <laughs> papai. In Uganda, we call it amapapali. Almost the same. Almost the same. Papai and amapapali. <laughs> The Ugandan words are, are, are longer and um, and uh, slower. Papai ama papali. Eh, you see, like how you say matoke, we say eltoke. You know. <laughs> so yeah, it's just different, 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 different in 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 the pronunciation and just a few more. Consonants and nouns are added to the word. So, yeah. Let me not start teaching language over here. Sorry, guys. I'm concentrating on this thing. Eh? <laughs> I'm not even seeing you. Oh, my God. But I'm seeing you from over here. Though I feel like I should be seeing you from over here. And then I've put, I've, I've, I've moved the camera, like, to face downwards so that you guys can see. So you can see, like, you can't quite see my whole face. <laughs> Oh my lord. So yeah, but hmm, anyhow. But in Swahili, one is pera, two is is mapera. Eh, best of a jabu. So in Swahili, yes, you're right. In Swahili, one is pera, two is amapera, is mapera. In Uganda, in, in, in my language Toro, one is ipera. 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 You see, like there's an I. At the beginning, ipera, pera, ipera. Then many or two is amapera. Here, mapera. So it's just like that. <laughs> it's just like that. This Swahili language is a Bantu language, you know. Ah, capable Agnes. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for coming. I really, really, really appreciate. My, meanwhile, it won't be a long live stream. I'm just going to make the juice and then maybe test it and tell you how it tastes. And then that will be it. That will be it. I won't really stay on the live stream. Not today is a Sunday. Today is a Sunday. It's a day for relaxation. <laughs> it's a day for relaxation. So, yeah. Mapera, amapera. Ipera, pera. You know, just a few more words. So. I'm going. I'm making this juice for the first time, for the very first time. I hope it will be nice. If it's nice, hey, I'll go back to the shamba and bring more maperas, so I can make more juice. I can be taking this juice every morning until the season is over. Otherwise, I find when they are on the flow, like they are so many, and I feel bad. I'm like, how can I waste all these maperas? Hmm? Okay, yeah, I give out. I give out some. Yeah, like I pick and then give out to my neighbors and my family, my other family that doesn't live in my house. I give them out. So, yeah. So, I decided, let me try to find something new. In one video I saw, they were peeling the mapera, but I'm not going to peel because I feel like it's a waste. Let's just blend everything. So, yeah. Mm, what else are you adding? Uh, Congratulations on 1K, girl. Capable Agnesis. Thank you. Thank you, Agnes. Actually, we are monetized. I'm, I'm monetized now. I think you saw an ad, Agnes. In case you didn't see an ad or in case you skipped, just refresh the live stream and then an ad will come and then you watch it and then I get some money. But thank you so much for the congratulations. We are actually monetized. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Capable Agnes. So, yeah, I'm just adding water. And sugar, they say, you know, my pera is not so sweet. You know, mango juice or pineapple, you can just make it and add nothing. But this one, they say, add some sugar for taste, for taste. Uh -huh. Add lemon to give it a twist. I capable, Agnes. No, 
Today, I will just make the guava the way it is. There's one I saw where they are actually adding pili pili, like, like chili. I saw, I saw on YT, I went there and I searched how to make guava juice. And then there's, there's actually a short video that went viral. It has like 6 million views <laughs> of guava juice with chili. Just in some, it was amazing. But for now, it's the start, it's the beginning, it's the first time. So I'm just going to make it guava, water and sugar. Then maybe I will start now doing with a twist if it's nice. Because I have lime right there. I have lime. I have even coconut. I have coconut, fresh coconut over there in my in my fruit rack. Okay, so I can add all these things, but for today I'll just do the guava as it is. So yeah, here they are, my lovely guava. I'm gonna take a photo with this phone. Let me just take a photo with this phone so that I can. Oh, I hope it will come out nice. Yes. For the thumbnail, so that when I finish the live stream, I can do a thumbnail. See my guava looking so nice. Ike was here for a short while. I don't know if he's still here. So yeah, the guava looks beautiful. Wow. Let me see. Yeah, so I have taken the guava photo. Ike was here shortly. I know he's traveling. He was traveling from Jamaica. He's going back to Texas. He's going back to Texas. So yeah, he was here shortly. So yeah, I'm, I'm going back into the stream so that I can see the charts. Okay. Uh -huh. Let us see. Let us see. Ike, uh, Ike, Ike, oh, Ike, you're still here. Oh, Ike, you came back. <laughs> you came back. I thought actually that you're, you're Nini. <laughs> Let's see. So this is my guava going in, going in. Ooh, it's plenty, plenty, plenty guava. So yeah, here is the guava. Here it is. Wow. So I'm going to just add some water and some sugar. Mm, I don't know how much sugar to add. I'll just add. Uh, okay. This, this is, uh, I can't even see. Oh. They say quarter a cup. This is quarter a cup of sugar. I don't know how much that is. So I'm just going in with quarter a cup of sugar. Actually, now I know. Those guava juices we buy from the supermarket, they are really, really sugary. Now I know they add sugar. I was wondering how they do it. So yeah, I'm going to put water. This is cold water. Cold water. Because I don't want, because since I'll be testing it here, I don't want to get that. Ooh. Oh. They say I shouldn't add so much. Okay, 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 okay. That will do. That will do. Kidogo. Mm -hmm. Ik is saying, "Capable Agnes, bless up, bless up, Ik, bless up, Ik, bless up so much." So yeah, I'm going to to blend this. Okay, here is my blender. I hope I don't make so much noise for you. I'm just going to put the lowest speed so that. Who? Who? I'm sorry for the noise, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for the noise. I've gone away, kiddos. I'll let it blend for a few minutes. I've just put the first level. <laughs> let me check. Let me check. Let me show you guys. It's it's actually making juice. It is actually making juice thick, 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 thick juice. They say if it is too thick, you add a little bit of water. So I'm going to add some little water, and then I blend it up again. Who is that? Hope you are safe from Jamie. <laughs> Capable Agnes is telling you, EK. Hope you are safe from Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> wow, Jamaica must have been fun. Okay, let me. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Guava has lots of seeds. Let me take this away. Let me take this away to the sink. I 
wash that later. So yes, our juice is here. <laughs> our juice is here. It's actually very thick. See? Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't wait. So I have my sieve right here. Uh -huh, it fell. And this, I'm going to be sieving it into this so that you can see it in the clear. Oh, does this go off? Okay, this one is supposed to be used on the... <laughs> I hope I don't mess it up. Okay, this thing is supposed to be used on the on 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 the juicer. So yeah, let me not use it. Let me use this. Miss Ivunje, alafu. I have nobody to blame. Let's see. Oh, it's thick juice. See? Can you see? Okay, you can't see how thick it is. Let me let me let me move it. Ooh. So you have to strain it because. Going through <laughs> okay, even the person who I saw making was actually oh mm, it's thick juice. So oh I'm straining it through this strainer. It's thick juice. I didn't know. Pink guava juice. Wow. Tomorrow I'll make the white guava juice. Wow, because this time I had only one white guava. Oh looks interesting i'm going to move the camera closer so you guys can see what i am doing oh my god this is amazing <laughs> wow see real juice wow i didn't know i didn't know that this is possible wow so I'm not going to be throwing guavas anymore because I'm wondering what do I use? What do I do with all this guava? My mom was even laughing at me. Like, what are you going to do with all those guavas? Because she saw the tree was really full. Hmm. Let me show you. Let me show you. So yeah, these are the seeds. These are the seeds. They remain in the strainer. So I'm going to Put them away. Oh, interesting. And then now you see, if I take these seeds and throw in the garden, they will grow more fruits, more, more trees. I'm going to move now this closer so you guys can see the juice. I'm going to continue the process. See, see how thick the juice is. Ooh. Oh. I feel like it's already yummy. I'm going to strain all the juice. What is saying? The juice looks pretty. How long does it take to grow? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know woods. I don't know how long the tree takes to grow because when I bought the land, the trees were on the land. It was a wild land, so these are wild guava. I just didn't, I didn't plant the trees. I found the trees on the property and it was a wild property. Like they had never cultivated it ever. Like no, nothing was growing on it apart from weed. Like it was just virgin land, never cultivated. So the guava trees that were there were wild guava trees. There were so many. So I don't know how long they had been there. I probably think they were brought in by birds. I don't know. So I cleared the land and then left a few guava trees there. I have the pink guava and the white guava. But today, I went to the pink guava tree. Tomorrow, I'll go to the white guava tree. Actually, I've never seen pink guava juice even in the, in the, in the what is it called? In the supermarket. I always see the white guava juice. Mm, you know? Oh, the juice is thick. It's like mango juice. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And the trees, the, the, the guavas ripened on their own. They were on the trees. So I, all this that you saw today here, I just picked it this morning, like at 10, at 11. Yeah, I picked it from the tree at 11. And I was wondering, what do I do with all this? Okay, I gave out some. I'm still going to give out others. Then I was like, what do I do with all these guavas? If you, <laughs> let me see yeah it's amazing wood it's really amazing it's really amazing 
So I didn't know. I just went to Whitey and and searched guava juice, how to make guava juice at home. And here we are. I know how they grew. Sometimes at them, huh? You know, eh? I know how they grew. Someone at them. Oh, Ajabu, yes. I think somebody ate and threw on the property. Or my, I suspect the birds. Because it was uh, the wild. It was in the wild. They had never cultivated that land, I'm told. Like since, okay, I don't know how true that is. But yeah, it could be true. Because the owners were doing nothing on it. It had never been cleared ever, ever. But it, since it's a semi-arid place, it didn't have so much... So much like wilderness so it was actually a wilderness <laughs> i wish i was doing white tea by the time i bought i bought the property i would have shown you like before and how it is now it's actually that place where i was eating um uh, the maize if you've watched that video where i i choma mindy choma it's that place if you had seen it before oh my god it was a wilderness Nothing ever grew. Okay, like it was just wild. It was just wild. So yeah, now it is serving me guava. <laughs> mm, serving me guava. So yeah, the juice is almost done. I'm just left with one straining to do. So if I go and throw these seeds on on anywhere, that place would grow. It would blossom with guava trees. I don't know how long it takes. Wild guava trees. But I don't, if this juice is nice, hmm, I will plant more guava trees. I just left three on the property because I love them. And then I wanted my children to experience what I experienced as a child. I grew up eating guavas and mango. So yeah, this is the last straining. It's plenty of juice. Wow, I'm impressed. I am impressed. This is amazing. So this is the last straining. Then I can... Put the juice in a glass and then I show you guys and then I test it here on the set and put in the fridge for later. I think I have some bottles where I can put them, put the juice so that when the babies wake up from their nap, they can have some guava juice. Who knew? Next time I will try doing it the way uh, capable Agnes has said I should add lime <laughs> or coconut guava juice. You never know. You never know the test. It's good to experience new things. Who would have known that you can make guava juice at home? Wow. I like to try new things. I like to try new things. So, yeah. I'm going to put some in a glass and test, and then the rest I'll keep. I'll take the thumbnail for to. Mm. This is good. So yeah, my jar, my it's actually like a liter, a liter of guava juice from those guavas. Like when was I going to finish eating them? <laughs> like I can now eat them all at once. Mm, only one lemon, <laughs> not more. Okay, I'm going to try that capable Agnes. You know what we are going to do? After I've tested the raw, the guava alone, I'll just squeeze a lime in the rest of the juice, and then we we'll see if it will change anything. Mm? I've not yet tested the sugar, so I'll now go ahead and put in a glass. Where is the glass? Mm, I'm looking for a cute glass. <laughs> I'm looking for a cute glass so that when I do the thumbnail, <laughs> it looks as cute as it really is. I'll move this up a bit now so I can see you guys. Yeah, there we are. So here is my glass, and here is my juice. Guava juice. Woo! <laughs> Let me get a paper towel. That was too full. <laughs> that was too full. So it has messed up the aesthetics. <laughs> I'll just wipe. Ooh. Wow. Wow. So yeah. Guava, guava, let me see. Oh, this looks so nice. I never knew it could look this nice. Who is that? Ajab says, 
Guava can't be sweet. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? I'm going to test this right here. Then I tell you if it is sweet or not. Oh, look, look, look. Looks so sweet, though. Mm. Mm, and I smell guava. Mm. 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 It is nice. It is nice, guys. I can't believe this. Good evening. How are you? The babies are awake, right on time. Guava. Mm. And then it is not all smooth like mango juice. Yeah, it tastes real nice. Like you have to add the little bits of sugar to bring out the taste. But the flavor is amazing. Look. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. I'm going to ask for more guavas. <laughs> You wait, go sit there. I'll give you guava juice, okay? So my, my boy is awake and he, he wants the juice. He knows I'm on the set, so he probably wants to come to the set. So yeah, this is, lol, your face says it all. Lol, I'm happy the juice turned out nice. Yes, I'm also so happy. I'm also so happy. Like, I couldn't imagine I could make guava juice at home. Like, I couldn't imagine. Now I know. So I'm not going to be throwing away guavas. I'm not going to be, I don't know. This is so amazing. I can't believe it. Give the kids and let's see their impression. <laughs> no, I don't show my kids on the set. <laughs> my babies don't come to the set. <laughs> Best of a job. They only come to talk to you guys, but I don't show them unless it is by mistake, like they are in the frame and I can't take it out. So yeah, I will, uh, one of them is still sleeping. The one who really loves the camera is still sleeping, but I never show her. Like sometimes she knows the camera is always pointed there. So sometimes when I'm on the live stream, she comes over there. <laughs> and then there's a time she came and took my microphone and she just wants to keep saying, hi, hi, hi. She doesn't talk much. So yeah, I'm going now to do the Agnes way. I'm going to add the lime. I don't have lemon. No, I don't like lemons so much. So I'm going to add lime. I have lemons and lime, but I will choose the lime because the lime is sweeter. I don't want to mess this. Woo! Mm. 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 This is nice. And I like the texture. It is not all smooth. You know, like if you blend a popo or a mango, it will be all smooth. This one has those bits of the, like the seeds. I was wondering... Like when you drink the one from the supermarket, it still has those bits of seed. So I was wondering if I do it at home, will it have those? The texture is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Mm. Let me squeeze the lime. Let me squeeze the lime. Let me get it. Just one lime. I'll pick a ripe one. I'll take a ripe one so that I don't mess it up. So that I don't, you know, I'm not going to ask for more guava. So I'm going to just squeeze this lime. This one. Here, let me just wash it. And get my squeezer. Where is my, my squeezer? Yeah, here it is. Oh, where did I put my knife? Here it is. So I'm just going to cut. And then squeeze. Capable Agnes. Your twist is coming up. This is the lime. This is the lime right here. It's going into the guava. <laughs> the color is awesome. Yes, the color is really awesome. Pink. I'll make the white one. So I'm going to squeeze this. See? See, Capable Agnes? See what you're making me do? Oof. Eee, wow. Mm. Oh. This already feels like it will taste good. Let me put <laughs> let me put the second piece of the lime. I love lime because it is sweeter than lemon. I don't like the bitter taste of lemon. I only eat lemon with salt. There we go. So I'll mix it. You see the lime is actually on the top. Half is enough. Half is enough. <laughs> I already put the whole thing capable. <laughs> I already put the whole thing. Mm. And then, <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> it 
the lime. Oh, oh, I like the smell of lime. Hmm. It always gets me. Always gets me. Wow. So yeah. Mmm. Capable Agnes. Ha! This already tastes so nice. Hey, hey, hey. Just from the ah, from that. Mm. Okay, let me go in. <laughs> let me now test it properly. Hmm? Hey. Mm. It, it has changed the smell. Mm. Wow, wow. Mm. Mm. Capable Agnes, you were right. Now this just takes it a notch higher. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to squeeze some line in there. Like, two. wow. 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 This is a twist and it's a good twist. Capable Agnes, thank you for suggesting that. Wow. Wow. Guys, try this. Hey, hey, hey. Try it. Wow. Hey, wow. It like it changes everything. Who is in the house and hasn't given me a thumbs up? Please give me a thumbs up. This is like the line keeps lingering. Like it lingers, like the test. Hey, wow. Mm. Mm. The lime. Woof. <laughs> I cannot say enough of wow. This this is amazing. If you have guava, just do it with lime. <laughs> just do it with lime. This is good. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. I didn't expect it to be this good. But wow, I'm glad. I'm glad Capable Agnes was here and she suggested the twist. The twist is amazing. Ooh. Mm. I'm just going to do it for all the guava juice that I've made today. And forever. Like every time I see guavas, you know, sometimes you just see guavas and you're like, you know, what are these? What am I going to do with all this? This juice, I'm never buying guava juice from the store again. This tastes so fresh, so good. I can only imagine now because it's a bit warm. I can only imagine when I put the lime and then put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes. Hey, hey, it's really good. Hey, mm. Mm. I was actually supposed to take a photo of this. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just drinking it. The good thing I have more, more guava over here. I think what I'm going to do, since this was a live stream, you know, many people don't watch live streams. So I will do like a proper video of the process. Okay. Like how I normally do when I do the cooking videos, which I don't do so much these days, like in the beginning. So I'll just shoot like a proper edited video of this maybe five minutes video and then i give people the experience that i've got today it's good to try it's really good to try <laughs> ajabu you believe me yes try it try it i also didn't think it would be this nice I'll, that is why i'm saying um people need to drink this like where have i been for all these years where 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 like where like oh okay okay i've been here but where has this been for all these years i've been alive wow wow so i'm going to do maybe maybe next you know next week the, the the guavas might be over so i have to do it this week i will do one with white guavas or i'll just do do both both and then put the line and oof, and let people enjoy so if you have a guava tree, don't throw away guavas. These are wild guavas that I had. Let me show you from my garden, from my tree, wild guava. Very fresh. See, this is how they look. Hmm? 
You can also blend and make, let me see. You can blend and make popsicles for your babies as a summer snack. Wow, you've got some ideas. Yes, now I need to go buy that popsicle tray because I don't have one. Yes, I'm going to do that. And then I put it in the freezer. Oh, they will enjoy. So yeah, guys, I think I have to end this live stream. Thank you so much for coming. I have to end the live stream. I have really, really enjoyed. You want juice? Mm. That's it. <laughs> My boy is asking me how does the juice test. I give you some. Then you can test and tell, uh, tell the people how it tests because they want to know if the babies will like it. Come over here. But not in the set. Just come. Mm, my boy cannot wait to have guavas. I'll just put his voice. Thank you so much. Capable. Now you will just tell them how it tests. You drink and then you tell them how it tests. We're going to get a review just now. <laughs> That's like coconut going down. It's just like coconut. It's just like coconut. <laughs> My boy thinks the guava tastes like coconut. Wow. What an explanation. Wow. Really? It really tastes like coconut. Really? <laughs> okay, go enjoy your juice. So, guys, yes. After end the live stream, I'll just do the lime for all this juice. Thank you so much for coming. And in case you are new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So I'll be making a video this week, a proper video where people, like I'll just make the food do the talking. I will not be in the set. I'll just do the food. Meanwhile, if you haven't watched my new short video about the chicken, just go click on it, guys. It's just it's moving like it's 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 one point the last i checked it was 1.6k views so just go just go click on that chicken video just go just go and click on that chicken video like it's just chicken wings 15 seconds just go and just do like this and give me a thumbs up eh? let's push it to 1 million <laughs> i have it's supposed to be done in 120 days so i have 119 days to make it Go to a million and then i can tell you an experience of monetizing short videos okay so until next time bye bye i love you all